Lions, Jacob here, and welcome to another Blue and Gold Friday. Today is Friday, May 3rd, and it's the final day for juniors and seniors to purchase prom tickets. The prom is only two weeks away, Lions, so get your permission slips turned in and get your tickets today. This week, our freshmen and juniors completed their state testing, and some of our AP classes will begin their testing next week. Wednesday night is our Lions Choice Awards. The ceremony is free to all and will start at 6.30 in the GHS Auditorium. There is a ton of events and exciting things happening over the next few weeks here at GHS. So let's get into your Lions News. What is up Lions? Welcome to this week's installment of Interesting Facts. That's right Lions, we decided to give you something a little different this week and give you some interest, interesting facts that have nothing to do with each other. So let's get into it. Yo, check him. Did you know that animals can experience time differently from humans? To smaller animals, the world around them moves more slowly compared to humans. Salamanders and lizards, for example, experience time more slowly than cats and dogs. This is because the perception of time depends on how quickly the brain can process incoming information. That's Josh and Josh here, so. <laughs> but did you know a chicken once lived for 18 months without a head? Mike the Chicken's incredible feat was recorded back in the 1940s in the USA. He survived as his jugular vein and most of his brainstem were left mostly intact, ensuring just enough brain function remained for survival. In the majority of cases, a headless chicken dies in a matter of minutes. That's bonkers, Bakaru. But did you know chainsaws were first invented for childbirth? It was developed in Scotland in the late 18th century to help aid and speed up the process of birth and help remove of, removal of disease-laden bones during childbirth. It wasn't until the start of the 20th century that we started using chainsaws for wood chopping. That's one wild fact, Hoag. But did you know that deaf people are known to use sign language in their sleep? A case study of a 71-year-old man with rapid eye movement disorder and a severe hearing impairment showed him using fluent sign language in his sleep. With researchers able to get an idea of what he was dreaming about thanks to those signs. This is very similar to sleep talking. That's boo boo bananas. Anyway, Lions, that's going to do it for this week's installment of Interesting Facts. Be sure to have an awesome weekend, and as always, Go Lions! Hey Lions, Dakota here with some Lions birthday shoutouts. This week we had Omar Rios, Kylie Ferry, Paige Bulgazar, Malice Garner, Ryan Pierce, Rupfi Patel, and Abigail Fowler. Today we have Sherla Morales and Prathen Sarder. And this weekend we have Angelina Morales, Alexander Aquilante, Jaden Terrazini, Cheyenne Doakley, Edgar Morales, and Ivan Gonzalez. From all of us here at the LPNM and everyone in Lions Nation, we hope you have the best birthday of your life so far. Happy birthday, Lions. Yo, 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 Lions. Right on boy Kato here with your LPNN weekend weather report. That's right, Rai. May has arrived, Lions, and this weekend is going to be exactly what you would expect. Yup, the temps will be in the steady in the mid-60s all weekend long. However, clouds will take over today and there is a chance of some showers on Sunday. Alright, Lions, that's going to do it for us. Enjoy your weekend. Peace, Peace out, doggies. What's up, guys? J-Mo here with this episode's installment of J-Mo's Dad Jokes of the Week. You ready? Here we go. Why did the coach put the frog in the outfield? He's really good at catching flies. <laughs> Why was the strawberry upset? He found himself in a jam. <laughs> Why can't a leopard hide? Because he's always spotted. <laughs> okay, one more. What is Shaquille O'Neal's favorite fast food? Shake Shack. <laughs> all right, that's all the jokes I got for you this episode. Feel free to crack up with your family and friends all weekend long. Till next week, JMO out. Hey Lions, Nattles and JMO here with your Lions sports update. The Lady Lions softball team is off to a hot start this season, going 11 and 2 in their first 13 games of the year. They've picked up quality wins against some tough opponents and currently sit first in the division. The Lady Lions pitchers Olivia George, Chloe Ty, Emma Dick have been dominant on the mound, all picking up multiple wins. Offensively, the team has been led by Ava Rogers, who is leading the team in hits, runs, RBIs, and walks. Defensively, the Lady Lions have used a total team effort to hold opposing teams to under 13 total runs in over 80 innings played. Be sure to come out and support the Lady Lions in their next home game when they take on the Crosstown Live will Gloucester Catholic tomorrow, Saturday, May 4th at 7 p.m. at the Ponytail Field. The boys and girls track and field teams earned a huge victory over Collingswood this week. With that win, the boys clinched the Patriot Division title. 
The boys were led by Justice Dolson, who won discus, shot put, and javelin, and threw a PR of 161 feet and 10 inches in the javelin throw. The boys weight team completely shut out Kongs with 27-0 in the field. Caden Harris won high jump, Jaden Garris won the triple jump and 110 hurdles. Vincent Kelly and Marcus Flag took home all of the golds in the distance events. The Lady Lions were led by Catalina Santiago who won discus and shot put, Victoria Serrano who won javelin, Kyla Fleming, Shiloh James, Addison Chiodi, Ashanti Aguilar who broke Israel Bonilla's 2017 school records in the 100 and 200 meter dash. This weekend, the Lions will be competing in the SJTCA Open, so best of luck to our, both of our Lions track and field teams. The Lions baseball team is off to a great start and currently sits at 12-5. They have been led by strong pitching performances from Joe McDonald, Seth McCormick, Gavin Zane, Caleb Wright, and Jason Hall. Seniors Aiden Daly, Kevin Wall, Jake Zierfoss, Jake Seibert, Brian Bartley, and Gavin Wiener, and juniors Russell Medlar, John Pfeffer, Anthony Trizzullo, and Mason Women have all stepped up and delivered clutch plays in the field and big hits at the plate. They will take on Defer today at four. All right, Lions, that's it for your sports update. Good luck to all of our spring sports and go, go Lions. Lions. Well, Lions, that's all we got for this week's episode. Enjoy the first weekend of May. Juniors and seniors, remember that prom ticket sales and permission slips are due today and prom is only two weeks away. Have a great day, get outside, enjoy your weekend, and as always, go Lions.